Good morning everyone. Um, thank you for joining us on the St Barnabas YouTube channel for this week's breakfast. Um, we're going to be using morning prayer from the Church of England's Common Worship. So if you have got uh, the daily prayer app or if you've got the BLT sheets that we send out each week, you can follow the words uh, that are on there. Otherwise, just um, listen prayerfully and engage uh, in however you feel able to. So let's begin with some opening words. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens, Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all people on earth. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit, sing his praise and exalt him forever. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. And we say together, Amen. I'm going to read... A section from Psalm 119 now. And let's see as I read these words how we find ourselves in these verses. Um, where do we uh, relate? Where do we not? And how does it stir our spirit? So starting at verse 85 of Psalm 119. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies, but with my whole heart, I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands have made and fashioned me Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous, that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your steadfast love comfort me according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. Let the insolent be put to shame because they have wronged me with falsehood. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, that they may know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I've become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I've not forgotten your statutes. 
How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end of me on earth. But I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, give me life that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. We're going to pray now. There's a few lines um, of prayer which I'll lead us in and I'll leave some space between each um, in case there's anything in them that you want to make your own reflect on or bring before God in another way. Let's pray. God, you are Lord over our past, present and future. For this past week, thank you for the moments of joy and wonder. We call to mind those things we are grateful for. And we recall to mind moments of distress or regret. Lord, forgive us and fill us with your perfect peace. May this day be a true Sabbath. Would you walk with us? Do you talk with us? Let us be present and attentive to you today. Give us vision and hope for this coming week. Lead us into moments where we can experience your love and lead us into opportunities for us to bless others. Amen. And we'll bring those prayers together with today's collect. Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence, give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we'll end with these concluding words. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining to participate in morning prayer with us today. Um, well, hopefully we'll meet again, we'll see each other soon at some point in some way but have a very good day bless you